Well, hello everyone, and welcome back to Phoenix Wright Justice for All. Ah, I am quite refreshed, I think. Yes, uh, previously we finished Case 3 of Game 2, and, well, <laughs> I didn't really take it too well. Ah, but no, that's, that's water under the bridge. It's behind us. I'm Zen. I'm excited, even, because we're about to embark on a whole new, new, uh, case, yes. It's a fresh slate, you know? And, well, uh, now that Miles Edgeworth is getting involved, stepping out of the shadows from wherever the hell he was vacationing. Uh, seriously, where was he vacationing? That's what he was doing, right? Well, yeah, I'm, I'm excited to see what happens. Um, now this is case Four of game two that we're about to start. Um, the first game had four cases total. Well, before the fifth case, but that was added on for a re-release later down the game's lifespan. So... Will Justice for All only have four cases as well? Uh, so I'm quite curious to see if I will detect any signs that this is going to be the game's finale case, you know? If that's true, then maybe Morgan Fay will return, or maybe they're saving her for a sequel? I mean, you can't have a locked away villain uh, ominously proclaim that they'll be back for the revenge one day and not do anything with it, right? So, yeah, let's just, let's just get on. Okay, gotta close my eyes here again. So I don't spoil myself with the cover art. Uh, justice for all. Should be it. Okay, so... Last time I heard the Steel Samurai... Uh, now, the moment you've all been waiting for! Who will be this year's Grand Prix Champion? Who will be our Hero of Heroes? What, what a contest? Oh my god. Will it be last year's runner-up? Gemin, uh, Captain Saipan all the way from the lobby? Uh, I was going too fast! Starry School? On Yankopon? Wow, for once this actually feels Japanese. The winner of the third annual Hero of Heroes Grand Prix... ...is me! What? <gasps> the Moon Cut Cut! Whoa! Whoa! The true hero of the night has appeared in our midst! He got a steel arm? It looks like this year's Grand Prix goes to this fantastic warrior! The Nick... The Nickel Samurai? I'm sorry, but that's awful. No, you can't... Who, who's this poser? Get out of here, Nickel Samurai. That's lame. Where's my Steel Samurai? I mean, you have a... You, uh, I mean, you're a cool... Cool Sentai Samurai with a robo-arm that's badass, but... Nickel Samurai? Really? Oh, well, uh, so March twentieth. It's it's about a mo uh, three months after the last case, and we're in the Gatewater Hotel, just across from uh, Wright and Co. Law Offices, the Viola Hall. All right, yes. Did you hear that, Nick? Did you, the Nickel Samurai? He did it. Who comes up with these names? All oh, right, Salmonella. <laughs> yeah, he sure did. <sighs> I'm getting too old for this. Aren't you only 25? <gasps> Gasp! <laughs> He's back! 
You're the real steel samurai in my heart, Will Powers. Oh man, this is interesting because, um... Back when I did this... But did the case back in game one with Will Powers, I didn't really do any voice acting. I just was just reading stuff aloud, so I gotta invent a voice for this guy. Well, it has to be strong and authoritative. Heroic. Quake the room. But not... But not quite as menacing as the evil Manfred von Karma. So, let's go with, uh... uh I'm proud of the guy for doing the series justice. So the person everyone was cheering for... I guess he got the prize? Yep. You know... Who, uh, you know who we're talking about, right, Pearly? The Nickel Samurai. No. Every Sunday I only watch the Educational Channel's Kids Masterpiece Theater. Okay, that's it. From now on, it's the Nickel Samurai. All the kids watch it. <laughs> Maya, you're corrupting this youth. <laughs> oh, no, who am I kidding? This is exactly what every youth deserves to watch. <laughs> Do you like the Nickel Samurai too, Mr. Nick? Eh, yeah, Nick's an old fart, so he's not allowed to watch it anymore. That's right. But I do like kids' masterpiece theater. Hey, I didn't know you were so young at heart, Nick. Mr. Nick, you're a grown-up. You're not allowed to watch it anymore. You're supposed to act your age and have interests that match. It's very important. I'm sure it is, Pearl. Uh, give it a rest, Pearly. Looks like I made the right choice in inviting everyone here. I'm glad you're all having a good time. Ah, it's like a dream. Too bad for the jam and ninja, though. Last year, he lost to the Pink Princess, warrior of little old Tokyo. Ah, uh, yeah. That's the, uh... The hero that was, quote-unquote, inspired by Maya. I wonder how Maya feels about the Pink Princess nowadays. I thought this might be his year. Yeah... Oh, hey! Did anyone else think that the Jam and Ninja looked a bit different today? Different? What do you mean? Um... Well, he wasn't carrying his bright red guitar. Okay, it suddenly occurs to me that absolutely nothing wrong has happened so far. Like... No murder has happened yet. But now this talk of a missing guitar has me thinking, okay, is that gonna be a murder weapon or something? I, 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 I. Hey, you're right. Strange you'd walk around with it as a signature guitar. <sighs> I'll never understand these people and their shows. Anyway, Mr. Powers, thank you very much for tonight. Ah, uh, uh, it was nothing. I owe you one, so it's just my way of saying thanks. Hey, Nick, come on. It's time to get going to the lobby. There's a post-ceremony stage show that's supposed to start real soon. Ooh, that's cool. And then, I heard there's going to be a press conference after that. A press conference? Is he going to make a speech about winning this year's prize? Oh, uh, well, not exactly. Something about the Nickel Samurai confessing something. Ew, huh? Interesting. Confessing? Sounds pretty serious. Ah, Nick, come on! You don't want us to be in the last ones there, do you? Also, I just like to... I just realized... We're at the Gatewater Hotel, and look at this room! The walls are gilded, the food is a bountiful feast, the chandelier is extravagant! <laughs> oh my god, we only, we only really saw like a hallway and a room back in game one, but that looked like a standard hotel. <laughs> I think... 
I think the business really did boom since we were last were in here. <laughs> oh, that pleases me. Yeah, Mr. Nick, do you? Why me? The show doesn't even start for another 20 minutes. Well... Wow! Okay, what? This is... This is really weird. We're in control and we're playing the game and there's no murder case going on at all? Well, alright. Um... Let's examine stuff. Look at that chandelier. That chandelier is really something, isn't it? I thought it was kind of a spaceship. Hey, Nick. How about we get one of these for the office? Yes! One of those hanging from our poor, weak ceiling? I don't think so. You have no f taste of fun, Phoenix. That sure is one luxurious hotel. Almost to the point of gaudy, how it blends together everything fancy imaginable. Speaking of fancy, didn't that bellboy give me something like that last year? <laughs> what can I say? This is a really high-class hotel. I've never eaten this kind of salad before. Poor Pearls haven't eaten only vegetables all her life. She's been missing out. Don't worry, any leftovers belong in my happily waiting stomach anyway. Such a glutton, Maya. Phoenix? Careful. You're treading on thin ice, boy. You're one step away from calling the woman fat. You are on thin ice. Make a tactical retreat. Ah, I lose this one to Maya. You sure can eat. Oh! <laughs> Here comes Powers with the final nail in the coffin. Well, the growing girl needs her nutrients. Atta girl. Growing girl? Exactly how big do you plan on... Phoenix, no! <laughs> uh, there's a grand set of doors over there. And behind those doors is an equally grand lobby. Shall we go and take a look, Mr. Nick? Hey, wait up. Grand Dessert is calling to me. It's saying, eat me now. Ah, uh, Lordy. Oh, the stage. What's the stage? The awards ceremony was just held on that stage. It was really fabulous. You just reminded me of the circus for a second. Well, shows like that are guaranteed to be good, you know? So, Mr. Powers, what do you think of... Wait, I have a photo? The Nickel Samurai glossy photo Maya pushed onto me. <laughs> uh... Okay, well he does have a spear. I have a soft spot for spears. Spears are my favorite weapons in... in across all mediums and even reality. I love spears. Spears are so rad. Um... Is Nickel Brown? I mean, I know Nickel coins in the US currency are like silvery, but... I'm not sure if the actual metal is brownish like that. Maybe it should be the Brass Samurai. I I better make a Full Metal Alchemist joke one of these days here. I'll be disappointed if I don't find a way to make one before this case is out. Okay. Oh, right, right. Uh, Mr. Powers, what do you think of this? Uh, I really owe you one. If it wasn't for you guys, I don't know what would have happened. What you did, it was a real tight spot I was in, and you fought so hard to get me out. I don't care what happens. I'll never forget everything you've done for me. Uh, the photo. 
Uh, this is sorry. Uh, thanks for taking the time to take it out and show it to me. But I'm really sorry, I don't know a thing about it. Okay. Uh, uh, let's talk. Will Powers, how are you holding up, man? How you been? Thank you very much for inviting us today. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah, of course, a former Steel Samurai actor, a big cheese like him would have clout and be able to invite Phoenix. Well, maybe just invite Maya, and then Maya would drag Phoenix along, but you know what it is. Uh, it was nothing, really. You guys like us don't get to come to a place like this often, so I thought I'd invite you all. Hey, Mr. Powers, what have you been up to lately? Well, since the Pink Princess successfully wrapped up last month... Oh, that's right, he played her, did, didn't he? That's right, I think I remember that Mr. Powers played the Pink Princess. I think. Okay, uh, okay even if it's not true, I want to believe it anyway, just because that's funny. I've been on a kid's exercise show. While wearing a rabbit mask over my face. Oh, I see. I'm still really sorry about all the headache I caused you that time, Mr. Wright. Ah, well, what's done is done, so let's forget about it. This is Will Powers. He's an action star. His popularity exploded when he was the Steel Samurai. It was the first case Maya worked on with me. It's too bad you look scary, or people know you're a real softy who's good with kids. Um, thanks. What do you think about the Nickel Samurai? I can't believe they're going to make a movie based on the Nickel Samurai. I can't believe it either, but for a different reason. Hey. The Steel Samurai. An epic story of one hero in a desperate fight against his arch-nemesis, the evil magistrate, in the city of Neo-Old Tokyo. And last year they started a new series, The Nickel Samurai. The new series seems to be a hit with the kids too. I'm really attached to the Steel Samurai as a show. So I was hoping that maybe I'd get the chance to do something in the new one. Yeah, it's too bad. It'd have been awesome to see you with the new actor, Matt Engard. Matt Engard. Engard. Have at me, foul cur. He's super popular right now. Mr. Engard? Looks like Pearls doesn't know who he is. This year, it's going to be the Nickel Samurai versus the Jammin Ninja at the box office. Jammin Ninja? Who's that again? Oh, yeah, tell me more. So, who is this Jammin Ninja again? He's a hero, duh. His symbol is the bright red guitar he's always carrying. A ninja who's always carrying around a bright red guitar? How does that even work? When you're that good at being a ninja, you can look like anything and get away with, with it. Just ask that little annoying twerp when, in the bright orange jumpsuit. <gasps> I love him. <laughs> with a scarf around his neck and a guitar in hand, he rises to stardom in an ancient time. A ninja who becomes a star? Yeah, a ninja who becomes a star! Wow. And there's a strong rivalry between the two of them. Global Studios Nickel Samurai and Worldwide Studios Jam and Ninja. They even air at the same time. Wow. You know what I heard? I heard those two don't get along at all. Oh god, I already sense the impending doom. The Nickel Samurai's end guard and the guy who plays the Jammin' Ninja, I mean... The Nickel Samurai speaks French? Oh, you mean Matt Engard, the actor. I 
guess even the world of heroes is in a sparkling happy place. Uh, yeah. Alright. Let's, let's move on then. I'll, I'll wait. March 20th. Gatewater Hotel Hallway. Okay, it seems that one person staying here has a lot more fans than the other. Wow, what is with this place? Looks like I've stumbled into Oz or something. In the back, there's a sign for the bathroom. Maybe I should visit it while I can before the show starts. Huh. Well, okay. Uh... Huh. There's a piece of paper taped to the door that says, Juan Corita's room. One corridor? Well, that must be the Jamma Ninja, right? Juan Corita. His name just sounds like a star's name. I've heard it before, but I don't know anything about him at all. Hmm. I can understand flowers in front of the dressing rooms, but what are stuffed bears doing here? Could it be that there is an action star of the soft spot for teddy bears? Well, the Jamma Ninja does make friends with animals, right? Nah, can't be. I wouldn't be so sure. <laughs> Compared to the flowers on the other side of the hall, these are much more gorgeous. Let's see. Record companies, fan clubs, company workers, family. Carrying all these flowers home would be hard, I think. That's a fair assessment. To Mr. Ungard from the Global Studio staff. Ah, it'd be nice if lawyers got flowers too. Something like, to Mr. Wright from all your grateful clients. That'd be nice. There's a piece of paper taped to the door that says, Matt on guard's room. Matt on guard. I've heard that name before. Oh yeah, Maya's always yammering about him like obsessed fan she is. And also just like 10 seconds ago, Phoenix, but you do you. There are toilets in each room in this hotel. But since all sorts of events are hold here, there are bathrooms for people who aren't staying here to use as well. That's very nice. Perfect for people like me, who can't afford to stay here in the first place. Oh. Oh. I can't move elsewhere. Where? Hello? I think I looked at everything. Well... Alright, let's go back. Sounds like the post-ceremony show is about to start. Oh, we skipped over Phoenix peeing? Lame. Alright! I'm so pumped! I wonder if he's going to show off his special move today. Nickel Samurai Smelting! Actually, what I'm interested in most is the press conference. You mean the big confession the Nickel Samurai is going to make after the show? So, what is it? Don't you know what it is about? Uh, what it's about, Mr. Powers? Uh, well, I'm not the Steel Samurai anymore, so I don't have any idea. Bah. S sorry. Ah, so I guess you are all going to the press conference then? Yeah, of course. If that's the case, then here, take these tickets so you can get in. Uh, Sixteen, huh? Seems like the Nickel Samurai is to confess something after the post-ceremony stage show. Right on. Front row seat. Thank you very much. Well, let's get going to the lobby. It looks like it's over this way, Mr. Nick. Oh, pearls. Okay. For great justice. For great justice! I'm so hyped. <laughs> yeah. Let's move. I mean, it's obvious something bad is going to happen here because clearly we're going to be investigating around this hotel later. Jeez. Huh. Only a really gaudy hotel would have such a large gaudy lobby to match. Just how severe were the renovations to this place anyway? I think they're going to have the post-ceremony show over there. 
They're using a compact stage, I see. Oh, I'm all ready to use my special samurai power. Maya looks like she's ready to start a fight. Your attention, please. Your attention, please. The Nickel Samurai's post-ceremony stage show will not be held tonight due to unforeseen circumstances. Okay, it's already happened then. Great. What? Why? Ow! You don't have to pinch me. Pinch yourself if you don't believe it. We are asking for everyone's cooperation at this time. So please stay where you are. This is a special request from the police. Oh boy. The police? Did they just say the police? Do you want me to go check out what's going on? Um, wait, I'll come with you. Freeze! You two, didn't you hear the announcement just now? It just finished telling you not to move! The, that voice, I've heard that voice somewhere before. Gumshoe? Honestly, you thief. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> I know who ex I just I know exactly who this is. Oh no! I have to voice act her too now. Darn it! Don't you know I only have one woman voice? Damn it! All right. Um. God. Okay. I can picture her voice so perfectly in my head, but can I pull it off? Ugh. Probably not. So let's try anyway. Honestly, youth these days can't be bothered to listen to other people when they talk. Just the other day, it was the same thing. There was a, it said, beware bridge out, and then comes a slot nose up, plugs to the bridge. I tried to tell the boy the bridge was out, and it's dangerous, but what he listen? No, of course not. He said he'd be careful, only walk in the in part. Bridge since out part was what was dangerous. I'm not kidding you here. That and the really mended. Well, it let him have it then off the bridge, honestly, because these days don't know right from on, I tell you. I can barely read that in my normal voice, let alone voice acting. Okay. Um. This non stop chatter. It, it can't be Miss Oldbag. I can see her, uh, her trademark rapid breathing through her helmet. What is it, you young whippersnappers? Do I know you? Uh, <laughs> she doesn't even remember us. Uh, maybe that's for the best. Wait, you! Your powers, aren't you? Uh, yeah. Um, about what happened back then. You didn't even get nominated this year, did you? Oh, that's right. You're doing that children's exercise program, trying to play nice. Uh, yeah, that's me. Thankfully, I still have a job. I love that show. And you're a hoot. You're the big brother, yes, even with your face covered mask, or you know, you have a robot with a rope apart, what a robot. Uh, oh, God. <laughs> oh, big? Why? Um, what are you doing here? Look at my uniform and tell me you can't tell I'm a member of security. Uh, I am butchering this voice, I know it. <sighs> God damn it. Uh. What should I do? I don't know what to do about her. Well, I'm happy she's back. Powers and old bag. This is a, a regular old reunion. <sighs> what that outfit? Annoying nosy brats get the blaster. Please keep that helmet on. Okay, bye. See you later. 
let's go. <clears throat> oh, wait. There's actually something here. Uh-oh. There's nothing really out of the ordinary here. Are you looking for the incident that the old lady was talking about? Doesn't look like it happened here. Well, we better go look somewhere else. All right. Then let's try... Excuse me. Ah! Oh! That's not the same bellboy! That's an entirely different character! Hello! He's got a... He's got a... Scar... Turning down his face. Okay. Are you by chance Miss Maya Fay? Um, yeah, that's me. You have a phone call waiting for you at the front desk. A call? I wonder if it's someone from Crane Village. What's wrong, Mystic Maya? Oh, nothing. You guys go on ahead and I'll be right there, okay? Okay. Right this way, Miss Fay. Let's go look somewhere else now, Mr. Nick. Yeah, okay. This is a little exciting and a little scary. Um, hopefully Maya wasn't needed for some of the conversations with Old Bag. Uh, whoops. I mean, I moved away as a joke, but whoops. Okay, um. So if Maya had a phone call specifically for her, I see two options. Either one, that's Morgan Fay making her move, or B, uh, Edgeworth making his move and getting Maya to be part of whatever his plot is. It could be both. Now that I think about it, not good. Uh, old bag, please come back. Okay. Uh, Wendy Old Bag. Uh, Miss Oldbeg, what are you doing here? What happened to your position at Global Studios? Well, that old place... Well, since that incident, they've been letting people go. When they cut the security team, I got the pink slip. Um, I guess you must have done something, um... Deplorable. Deplorable? I would never do such a thing. Don't you remember that incident a year ago? This lady got on the witness stand and testified. It, yeah. And you, weren't you the one who was bullying me? This fragile girl at heart. Um, I plead the fifth. But you know, I think maybe I rubbed the upper management the wrong way by testifying. Yes, that has to be it. Everything is all your fault. Me? I thought about being a bodyguard at first, after being handed old Pinky. Bodyguard? Oh, please never make that face again. Oh, your friend! That fiery, good-looking guy with the red jacket and the ruffles! Wow. She's not talking about a hedgerow, is she? But... That sort of arrangement would be entirely too troublesome for me. That's what he said to me. What did I ever do to deserve that? Rat -a -tat 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 -tat. All right. I'm sorry, but what in the world just happened? I don't have all the details, but it looks like another one of those incidents happened again. Uh, I have an incident, like a murder kind of incident. Maybe. You see, I'm a bit of a devilish woman. So wherever I go, showers of blood are sure to follow. Bet you didn't know that. Oh boy. I wonder if this is somehow a reference in the original translation to the whole nosebleed trope when men see attractive women. I want to believe that's the case. Um, then shouldn't you quit being a security guard, at least for other people's sake? 
silence, whippersnapper! Tat, 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 tat. So, uh, what you think about my attorney's badge? These eyes of mine are real pros now! Pros? Pros are doing what? At doing police work, of course, my eyes are like a hawk! And my professional eyes spot a messy incident. A messy, bloody incident. That's why I don't have time for your meddling kids and your petty little things. Oh boy. Let's give her the slip. Now we can move on for real. Okay. I bet the murderer happened here. In one of these rooms. I told you! I get people the info they want! Oh wait. Oh, I thought that was Old Big coming to tell us to s that we should stay, but this is someone else. I get people the info they want, which means that I've got a right to know. Nope. Don't care who you are, pals. We're still investigating, so you can't go in. What's your problem? I think it Is this Lada? Just you wait. I'll be over the morning paper. Scrappy detective secret scandal revealed. You'll see I'll get you back. Those two sound pretty serious. That southern a Yes! <laughs> oh my god. Everyone's here? A southern accent can only mean... Hey, right! Uh, 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 hey, Lada. Come on, do a gal a favor and tell this cop I'm just doing my job and I've got rights. Uh, I don't know how to do a southern accent. accent. Okay, okay, maybe I just get, gotta get in the mindset. Mindset. Uh, cattle. Barbecue. Guns. Racism. Nah, it's not working. Okay. Uh, you! Uh... Detective Gumshoe. Hey, pal, help a guy out. Tell her that only the police are allowed here. This is the scene of a murder, so she should leave this to us pros. A... Uh, a murder? Oh, shoot. Me and my big mouth. See, I knew it! My gut instinct told me so. I always trust my gut. A murder, it said. That's what it is, a genuine murder. Uh, hey, wait. Yeehaw, murder! The big star, no less. Oh, boy. Oh, man, I'm in trouble now. Ah, <sighs> good to meet you, Gumshoe. At least you're easy to voice act for. What's going on, big man? So, Detective Gumshoe, a murder? Uh, no, that's not it. I got my facts mixed up for a second there, pal. Um, Mr. Nick? He's a dead person, the Nickel Samurai. Huh? Why do you ask? Well, Mr. Kamaya was rooting for him, so... It wasn't the Nickel Samurai that got bumped. Oh, really? Well... Huh. Actually, the Nickel Samurai is the one under suspicion of doing the bumping off. Oh, okay. I think we found our client. What? Uh, the guy that died was this hero named the Jamma Ninja, pal. The Jamma Ninja? Okay. Um, that woman with the big puffy hair that looks like cotton candy? You mean Lada? That woman! was there that time too, right? That time? When Mystic Maya did that channeling? Oh, that time. Well, Lada's a journalist, so that's why she was here. Journalist. It looks like she was hanging around here before the murder happened. Hanging around? Yeah, I didn't even wait in front of the Jam and Ninja's door, pal. But, but why would she... She wouldn't tell me, pal. Just said something about getting my big scoop. Ah. So she's the first witness to it, huh? Well, maybe she only just 
heard what was happening. Maybe she was waiting for the Gemma Ninja to walk out of the room so she could get an interview. Hmm. Scoop. What sort of news could she have been after? The victim. So, the victim was the Gemma Ninja. Mr. Gemma Ninja? He was on a really popular rival TV show to the Nickel Samurai. Oh! The victim was the action star, Juan Corita. Looks like a dashing young lad. Rest in peace. He got a huge push and rode the express train to start him. I mean, even I know who he is. Yeah, even I recognize his face. But I heard that Ma Matt Engard, <sighs> Matt on guards, been taking the wind out of his sail. Huh? That, that guy actually looks normal. Huh? I'm telling you, pal. As far as who's popular, most two are hogging on the limelight. I guess there's no space for Mr. Powers at all, huh? Poor guy. Yeah. Big, buff, machismo, macho men are out. Uh, cute, pretty boys are in. Mr. Onguard, um, that's a nickel samurai, right? Yep. I, I mean, no. You've got to say it with more oomph. The nickel samurai. A anyway, so now that Juan Corita's gone... That means Mr. Onguard has the whole stage to himself, wouldn't you say? Ah, there's the motive that Franziska and or Edgeworth will try to pin us with. I wouldn't bet on it, pal. You can't have that happen, you know? You can't have that happen. What's that supposed to mean, I wonder? Mr. Gumshoe, what do you think about this? Would you take a look at this for me? Listen, pal. I'm not leaking any info about the evidence to you this time. If I do, my salary's really gonna get it. And then I won't even able to get those instant noodles down the discount market. Not as discount noodles. Alright, let's see if Maya's wrapped up her phone call. Oh. Oh, maybe I should talk to her about the people here? I mean, yeah, Old Beggs loves the stars, so she'd know. These eyes of mine are real pros now. Pros? Pros at doing what? At doing police work, of course, my eyes are like a hawk. Oh. Whoops. Uh-huh. Uh... Surely you think something about powers, right? No. Nope. Yeah, I can examine this room, can't I? Uh, let's wait until Maya's here, why not? Maybe I need to show something to Gumshoe. person? You meet a lot of people as a detective, pal. So we make extra sure not to forget people because that's our job. Now, having said that, I don't remember ever seeing this person before. Which means that you're kind of forgetful, aren't you, Mr. Detective? That's not what it means. Not exactly, anyway. Uh, uh, the Nickel Samurai. He took the Grand Prix tonight. I was a big fan of his. Really? Oh, I'm sorry then. Why are you sorry? 
Matt Ongard was just arrested, pal. On suspicion of murdering Juan Carita. What? I'm not a real fan of action shows or anything. But I know who Juan Carita and Matt Ongard are. You can't talk about one without talking about the other, I guess. They even debuted around the same time. So they have this real fiery rivalry with each other. Kinda like you and me, pal. No. I never knew he thought of me of it, thought of me as a rival. <laughs> wow, that's awkward. Oh, arrested. Yes. Okay, here we go. Why was Mr. Ungard arrested? Sorry, pal, but that's not something I can tell you. We just started the investigation, so we don't want any leaks. Looks like yet another steel samurai heroes in hot water. Um, Mr. Nick, if Mr. Fyan knew about this... Yeah, I know. She'd make me take his case, I know. Okay, now let's see if Maya's done with her phone call. No? No? Oh, here we go, okay. Hey, so what's going on, Mr. Wright? It looks like Juan Carita has been killed. What? Juan is... he's... Looks like he was murdered. The suspect was arrested. That suspect is Mr. Matt Ongard. You're joking, right? Nope. They arrested the Nickel Samurai in suspicion of murdering the Jamma Ninja. Oh, not again. I feel sick. Again? Uh, about a year ago, something like just like this happened, Pearls. I still can't believe. No way, no way, Matt would. What's Mr. Power's got in his hand? A walkie-talkie? Oh, before I forget, this... This is for you, Mr. Wright. I got this from the bellboy that came by earlier. This reeks of Edgeworth plot. Radio transceiver originally from the bellboy can transmit and receive signals over great distances. Hmm. For me? But why? I don't know. All he said was it was for Mr. Phoenix Wright, the attorney. Well... Tell me more about Matt and Juan. Matt is the most energetic and active actor out there right now. The Nickel Samurai really sealed his place as a pop idol, but... He kept adding fuel to the fire of his rivalry with John, anyway. Uh, Juan, anyway. Mr. Juan, he's the Jamma Ninja, right? Those two were butt heads over everything they could think of. But I say that Matt was the one who almost always came out on top. I guess some people only know how to relate to others by butting heads like a ram. Juan said that he'd take Matt out on... Wait... Juan said that he'd take Matt on it this time, too, so he joined a rival TV show. And that was the Jammin' Ninja? The stylish Nickel Samurai and the burning Jammin' Ninja. Well, things turned messy real fast with those two using their shows for their war. And the final tally, look around, it's pretty obvious how things ended up. Matt even won the Grand Prix this year. The final win over his rival, I guess. Mr. Ongard was going to hold a press conference, wasn't he? That's what I heard. Though if you wanted to get technical about it, it was the Nickel Samurai's conference. The Nickel Samurai's? Yeah, he was supposed to wear his costume and give the press conference that way. He was going to be in costume, but why? I'm not sure. They don't keep me in the loop anymore. Um, I was just wondering, where's Mystic Maya? She's been gone a long time. 
Now that she mentions it, Aya was only going to answer a phone call. Maybe she got lost? I'll take a quick look around for her. Uh-oh. Here we go. Ah! What is it, Mr. Nick? Uh-huh. I'm... I'm not sure. It's coming from this transceiver. I yes? Hello? Right here. Okay, this better not be a menacing voice saying, Hur, I have taken Maya Fey hostage and you will do what I demand. If it is, I will flip. Is this Mr. Phoenix Wright, the attorney? And you are? You don't need to know who I am. I think you have other things to be concerning yourself with. Such as... Help! Nick! God damn it, Maya! You wander off for one second and you get kidnapped! <laughs> You know, I was thinking internally, like, hey, well, no matter what happened, at least Maya surely isn't a suspect in this murder. So she's safe. But no! God damn it, Maya. Oh, Miss, Miss Stick of Maya? Maya? So, Mr. Wright, wouldn't you agree that the more important issue is the fate of the girl? Her fate? Does he mean what I think he means? Maya, where are you? Are you hurt? Come now. Don't fall apart on me yet. This... No, this can't be. Now that I have your attention, Mr. Attorney, I have a modest proposal for you. If you do what I require, then I will turn to your valuable item unharmed. What is this called again in your fancy lawyer terms? Kidnapping for ransom. Yes, that's it. This is a kidnapping. Alright. The formula has changed. It has officially changed. Uh. Oh boy. Mystic Maya! Mystic Maya! M my sight. Everything's fading away. Maya. Maya. Maya's been kidnapped. Are you there? Mr. Tony, are you there? Uh, how much? How much do you want? Very good, Mr. Tony. I'm glad you have a good grasp of the situation. Hurry up and state your condition, and then return my, uh... Money is not what I seek. What? I knew it. I knew it. This person is going to ask for a specific outcome to this case. It's not money he wants, it's a specific outcome to the trial. That's gotta be it, right? What I want is a certain verdict. I would like a complete acquittal. Wait, acquittal? Acquittal is... getting the defendant off the hook, right? A not guilty verdict, right? Is that what an acquittal is? That's what Phoenix does anyway. He's a defense attorney. So why do this? Complete acquittal? What in the world have you done to need... I am not the person you'll be re re representing. What? You are currently at the gate at a hotel, are you not? And I know what a murderer... Uh, I know that a murderer has just taken place there. Ron Corda was killed. Suspect is Matt on guard. You are, as expected, quite on top of things, Mr. Attorney. Now then, what I want is very simple. 
and want you to obtain a complete obstacle from that on board. That on guard? But why? You did not kill anyone. I can attest to that. However. Uh, uh, however? However, what? However, someone is framing him for the murder. A very smart someone who is setting him up to take the fall. I agree and do what he wants. I believe he'll keep his end of the bargain? You are, of course, at liberty to take at my word or not. Uh, take me at my word or not. However, there is one thing you can take us back. Right now, your very precious item is with me in my possession. Help! Maya! You have two days. Of course, tonight, you'll be in question with police. The trial is in two days. At that trial, you will win a not guilty verdict. Remember, you only have one chance. One chance to return. One. You expect me to get a not guilty in one trial day? Yes, exactly. I don't believe I was wrong in choosing you if you don't let me down. Well. I think it would have been far more interesting to ask to uh, to ask Phoenix to get a guilty verdict because that would be add such a moral con quandary to the whole thing. Like Phoenix would be dooming one person to save Maya. That would be be so interesting. But the challenge of getting it done in one court day, I like that. That's a challenge. Okay. Ha. Ah. Oh, yes, that's right. Now that I'm playing the role of the kidnapper, I can't pass up the chance to say. And don't even think about calling the cops. Hmm. Not great, but you get the idea. Damn it! Who? Who the hell are you? Very well. I'll tell you that much. My name is. The Killer. Beep. D killer. Okay. <laughs> Maybe Mr. Nick. But well, where is Mystic Maya? She's been kidnapped. No, it's all my fault. If only I'd gone with Mystic Maya. It's not your fault, Pearls. But it is, it is! Mystic Maya! Wah! Mr. Wright, I think we... I think we should tell the police what's going on. No, we can't do that. If we do, who knows what will happen to Maya. Mr. Nick, what about the detective we saw earlier? Detective Gumshoe? Yes, that's it. Wait here and I'll be right back. All right, I'll take care of Pearl while you're away. What? Ransom? Shh, not so loud. The ransom must complete acquittal for Matt on guard. Boy, the deal is complete acquittal in exchange for Maya? You mean... And this means that Matt on guard is obviously a killer, pal. No doubt about it. But the guy said that Mr. On guard is innocent. You really believe what a kidnapper tells you, pal? I guess he has a point. If on guard really is innocent, then why are they kidnapping? And on top of everything else, there's all this evidence we keep finding. Huh? The forensics team's having a field day back there. Um, but it's strange. There's so much evidence that it feels like something's wrong. There's too much evidence? Is that possible? Yeah, if it was set up by someone who is very overzealous. Actually, 
didn't the kidnapper say something about Emgard being set up? Anyway, looks like you won't be leaving here tonight, pal. Just sit tight and cooperate with the investigation. Tomorrow you can start yours. Uh, uh, Alright. Isn't there another way? We've also got to be careful about pushing the kidnapper the wrong way. Date unknown, time unknown, location unknown. Ow, Ow my head. But where, where am I? I wonder if I'm still in that hotel. Probably. A place that big probably has a, a big wine stock. But what happened to me? Nick? Pearly? Come on, you guys, this isn't funny anymore. Good click. Oh! It's the bellboy. I see you have awoken. Ah! What? Who are you? Me? I am known as the killer. Oh. You mean like an assassin? I'm too young to die! Don't worry. You are not my target. For now, anyway. Ah! Nick! Nick, where are you? <laughs> my eyes having a perfectly rational response to this, I will say that. Help me. Yes, that's right. Only one person can save you now. And that is Mr. Phoenix Wright. Huh? What? Nick... Nick's going to save me? Calm down and be a good girl. Think of this as a business transaction. Uh, a business transaction? I'm going to contact him now. I hope you'll cooperate and play your assigned role well. Nick... What's going to happen to me? This is Mr. Phoenix Wright, the attorney. You don't need to know who I am. I think you have other things that you can turn yourself with, such as... Well... Wow, okay, um... Good morning! Ah, morning, Pearls. Mr. Nick! Mr. Nick, come on, let's hurry and go see Mr. On Guard! We have to wait a bit, Pearls. Visiting hours don't start until 9 a.m., so... Oh, I see. Ugh. Oh. Ah, uh, Mr. Maya, if only... if only I had gone with you. Poor Pearls. She's been like this since last night. We managed to get home somehow, yesterday evening. Thanks to Detective Gumshoe gently holding her by the hand and leading her here. But by the looks of it, I don't think Pearls got any sleep at all last night. Mr. Nick! Mr. Kamaya, she's alright, right? Yeah, she's alright. Either way, I'm going to save her. You can trust me on that. Please, please help her. I'm only able to say, stay this calm and collected. Because Pearls is doing the crying for both of us. Oof. Uh, yeah, I'll press on just a little bit. Just a tiny bit. What should we do? Um, I have a thought. Huh? You're going to represent Mr. On Guard, aren't you? Yeah, I don't really seem to have a choice. Um, but what if... What if he is a real murderer? What would you do then, Mr. Nick? Would you fight to get a guilty... Get a not guilty for a murderer to save Mr. Kamaya? Pearls, let's talk to Mr. On Guard first, okay? We can think all the bad things we want, but it doesn't change a thing. Y yeah, you're right. I'm sorry, I, 
I can't stop thinking about it. Pearls, you're really worried about Maya, aren't you? I... I don't have anyone else left in this world. What do you mean? My family's all gone. Her family? My father? He left my mother and the village behind and went away. I'm sorry. And my mother... She did that thing... all for me? Mystic Maya, she's like a sister to me. She's all I have left in this world. Alright. Um, on a lighter note... How's Charlie doing? I can't examine Charlie! That's how you know shit's serious! <laughs> okay. We couldn't wait for visiting hours to start, so Pearls and I came down here early. To visit one nickel samurai, charged with the murder of the Jam Ninja. Good good morning. How are you today? I know the situation might be a little tough for you. Um we are Oh, sorry, dude. I already signed up. Excuse me? I already have a life insurance. I signed up a long time ago because my job is, you know. Oh, no, 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 no. We're not insurance salespeople. Really? Dude, I really don't need that right now either. I have decided the voice. Fire extinguishers? I mean, this building isn't my house, so... No, 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 we're not here to sell you fire extinguishers either. I'm a lawyer. My name is Phoenix Wright. A lawyer? Hold on a sec. I'm gonna ask my manager, okay? The Nickel Samurai sure is a strange person, isn't he? I think strange is an understatement. Sorry about that. You're just in time. Huh? You're a lawyer dude, right? My manager's looking for a good one right now, so how about it? Uh, Mr. Nick, this is our chance! I have to make him let me take his case. I have to. Okay, maybe I can work on Ankar's voice. That doesn't quite fit. I was trying to go for a surfer dude, maybe. Uh, but I kind of botched and went for a ditz. But, anywho. Um... <laughs> what a episode here. Um... Golly, okay. <laughs> this, this, this case came out the gate swinging! Not only do we have the reunion of Will Powers, Lotta Hart, and Windy Old Bag, but uh, we have a murder mystery in Hotel with this bellboy with a scar on his face pulling some strings to do whatever with, with Maya and Phoenix. Uh, already the seeds have been planted for an amazing backstory. There is a history here. There is there's this fascinating motive. For once, we aren't going to crack just the motive of the, of the real murderer and the motive of the defendant here, but also that bellboy with a scar on his face. Uh, regrettably, the same old bellboy from the first game isn't isn't to be seen just yet. But all the same, wow, a lot of characters to deal with. A very interesting plot. Oh man, I can feel it. I can feel it in my bones. This case has the potential to be excellent. And I mean truly excellent. I believe in you, Phoenix Wright, Justice for All. You can pull this off. And honestly, as grand as this all seems, then yeah, I'm starting to believe this is indeed maybe the final case of the game, and that has me hyped. I am very hyped. This is so good. Uh, 
<laughs> One last thing I'd like to say before I leave. Um, I'm sorry if my voice and my speech has been a bit off today. This might sound odd, but just bear with me. I'm currently... I've currently been awake for 19 hours here. <laughs> yeah, um... I'm a night owl, can you blame me? Yeah, I like staying up. Um... <laughs> Uh, this is the first time I've recorded like this, so who knows? Maybe I'll listen to this later on uh, and see what I sound like. Maybe I don't even realize how messed up I'm being. But yes, my God. Okay, I am hyped. This case is this case is pretty good. Wow. Okay, <laughs> I can't wait to see more. Yeah, I'm hyped. Yeah. So. I'm Zephyr the Jester. This has been Phoenix Wright Justice for All. I thank you for watching and hopefully I will catch you next time. So until then, please take care.